What's up guys? I'm Laura from Reading in Bed and today is Sunday, December 1st, so we are here with an unboxing of the short story advent calendar. Uh, Henry's here with me. He's decided to waive his appearance fee. For those of you who don't know, Henry recently appeared in a commercial for Alberta Motor Association and I will link that down below. So he is now much more famous and successful on YouTube than I am, as if there was ever any doubt. Right, Henry? And I'll also link to uh, videos from past years of us unboxing and revealing stories from the short story advent calendar because the first year we did it uh, was 2015. So how old were you back then, Henry? <laughs> that was four years ago. So you were three, right? So these guys were real little the first year we did it. Now don't wobble the camera there, hun. Okay, so Henry is going to do the unboxing. We haven't even opened the, the box that came in yet. So... Um, now this year, the uh, short story advent calendar, which is published by a local publisher, Hingston and Olson, um, gave you a choice of colors. So you'll also get to find out which of the five colors we chose. All right, Henry, go for it. All right, as usual, we have our fun packing materials <laughs> that tend to get all over the place. <laughs> all right. And you can clean that up later. Let's get that out of here and you can uh, hold it up. There you go. Okay, so the color I chose is called... Here, hold it up, Henry. I chose the color Smoke. So the other choices were sort of blues and greens. Oh, look at the reflection on that too, hey? <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so let's uh, all get the plastic off there. Um, and then we can take a look at what the stories look like. So those of you who may not be familiar, um, it's just what it sounds like. It's a package of 25 uh, individually bound short stories and each one is sealed. Um, so the idea is that you wait uh, for the day and then you open it and uh, we all kind of find out together. So we're going to do um, the very first story. Now, okay, I don't know if, are you supposed to keep this <laughs> intact or, so. or is this just part of the packaging? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, it's on there pretty tight, too. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm not going to uh, rip it, just in case, you know, people are preserving these. Ugh. All right. So, story number one. Henry, I'll let you open it. Let's see what side. This is... Oh, that's 25, so we want the other side. Here we go. Why don't you hold that up? So, this is our first one. You want to open it, Henry? Remember, there's a seal on each one. You just have to kind of... Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. You want to take a look at, uh, at who it is and who it's by? So this is called Beginnings by Shelley Boria. So that's not a name that I know. Um, she's the author of New York One, Tel Aviv Zero, um, and the collaborative digital novella, Clean. Well, that's a good little transition from uh, novellas in November um, to our first short story advent calendar. Uh, so, yeah, this is a 14-page story. It looks a little unconventional in how it's structured. Uh, I will read this at some point today. And, well, you know what? I don't know that we're going to do daily videos, okay? We might do some videos, <laughs> and we'll talk about some of the stories. Um, but I guess that's it for today, right, Henry? Uh, is there anything else you wanted to say or show the folks out there? No. No? Okay. Yeah. Wait. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. You show that. Yeah, it looks like each of the stories this year sort of has a, a solid color um, you know, on the front and then this pattern on the back. Uh, and is it the same? Yeah, it looks like kind of the same pattern um, on the back of each one. So they're very well coordinated this year. Very nice looking. These look great on your bookshelves. Uh, and now I have the set of all five. All right. Well, thanks for watching.